Hello, my friends. Hello. Happy Friday. Don't mind me. Just chilling. Just straight up chilling in my office chair. Super casual because that's just the Friday that we're having today. Um, if you've seen me on Instagram, you understand, you know. Um, yeah, that's it's Friday. It's a Friday. It's an interesting day, but that's okay. So the first thing that you need to know is this live can end at any minute because we are waiting on a handyman type person to come and we don't have an actual set appointment time because apparently my husband noticed last night that our mounted television is the way it's shifted is weighing on the wall funny and the wall is starting to do something that's not good. So we called the person and he called me today and he's like, the person's going to come sometime today. What does that mean? Well, I don't know. Then he calls me about, oh, I don't know, three hours ago and says, I finally got a hold of the guy and he and I are going to meet up. He has one more thing to do at a city that's a couple towns over. He'll call me when he's on his way so I can leave work and come home. When's that going to be? Don't know. Still haven't heard from him. No idea if he's going to beat my husband here. No idea if my husband's going to remember to call me or, te or text me. I just texted him and said, please don't call. Going live. Use text messages. I don't know. I could get my whole time. He might not show up till five or six o'clock. I don't know. I don't know. But that's just the way my day is going. Hi, Lissa. Hi, Gretchen. Hi, John. Hi, Lori. So I have a quick question for you guys that is I need you to help me understand the logistics of how YouTube works. I understand that when I schedule something and I have the thing like ready to hit the go live and whatnot, it tells me how many people are waiting. I did not schedule this. And yet I saw people were waiting. So what do you guys see if it's not a scheduled live, but it's something that I'm about to do, but I'm not live yet. I don't understand. Cause all of a sudden I had like three people watching and I was like, wait, but I didn't, I didn't give them a link. So what do you, how do you guys act? How do you guys know that I'm about to hit the go live button, but I'm not live yet. Is that a thing? Did you just get lucky? I'm, I'm, I, I just want to understand YouTube more because that is a feature I don't know. Audrey, hello. How are you today? Um, I'm so glad that you guys are here. It tells me you're going on in a bit. Oh, so as soon as I like set up the thing and I say, I, I title it or whatever. Oh, interesting. Okay. How do you see that? I've been keeping an eye out for you. Lori, on any one of my videos, when you, you know how there's a little subscribe button on the side, make sure you click that little bell. That little bell is the notification bell. And that bell will, in theory, I, don't, I actually don't have a notification bell turned on for anybody. So I don't actually know how it works. But in theory, every time I upload a video or every time I go live, you'll get a push notification to your phone. Um, you're good. Thanks. It's dark. You're, it's dark, cold and wet, but good. Yeah. And Lindsay's here too. Hello. Oh my goodness, my friends. I'm so glad you're able to join me here on this Friday afternoon because I have been having a day and this actually makes my day a lot better. So that makes me very happy that all my friends are here. Hi, Rose. How are you doing today? I know there's a slight delay. Even when I'm waiting, I miss the first few seconds. Um, that's actually good to know because once it tells me like go live, you're, you're live, like saying something for the first 10 seconds is stupid because no one's here yet, you know? <laughs> so that's actually really good to know that I don't like, you don't actually get the feed right away. So yes, hit the bill, change it to all. Perfect. There we go. All right, my friends. So the title of this video is don't be dumb. And it's a weekly weigh-in video. Why do you suppose I called it Don't Be Dumb? Any guesses? Any guesses? I'm very curious to see how all y'all, how well y'all know me and pay attention. I'm legit waiting to see if there's a response. Because I'm very curious to know if you guys know why I called it Don't Be Dumb. I did something dumb. Ah, I did not do something dumb. I mean, I've done some several dumb things the last couple days, but that's neither here nor there. Okay. You don't know. So for those of you that have been following me along the last couple of days, um, don't be dumb and don't let the scale control your mood. That's actually a really good one. Okay. Okay. I like it. Maybe I'll give it another couple seconds to see what else people come up with. I like it. This is awesome. 
Um, it's, it's a super, super simple answer. Sorry, I'm dumb, so you can't answer it. John, come on now, John. Um, this answer is going to be just for you, my friend, my soul male that comes to my live streams. Uh, don't skip weigh-in. On the contrary, my friend, my don't be dumb, I did skip weigh-in today because, hello, PMS, and my monthly friend knocking right on my door and knowing that I gained five pounds in bloat just, like, thinking about that time of the month. Um, so when, like, depending on the timing of things, occasionally I'll step on the scale. When I know that, like, the peak of all hell breaking loose is on my way in day, I don't even bother. Because I know, A, I'm moody, so why the heck would I do that to myself? B, I'm going to be bloated, so why the heck would I do that to myself? You know? Um, so I didn't, my way in is I didn't weigh in. Um, because I'm not dumb. And if, if I wanted to kick a dog while she was down, I would have gotten on the scale, but I know better. I know better. And it's better for me to just go, you know, the scale is going to be up because I mean, look at yourself. I mean, you can tell that I'm a little bit bloated, um, which is ridiculous. Ridiculous. I'm so over I'm also very, very, not, not even dehydrated. I'm just very thirsty. Um, I'm so over the way my bottle, my body naturally processes these hormones during this time of the month um, because I'm still getting used to it. It's been, I don't even know. It's been, has it been a year yet? It might've been a year yet. It, it's might has been a year. I cannot speak. I cannot speak. I cannot. Oh my Lord, have mercy. Pray for me today. You guys <laughs> just, just pray for me today. My in-laws come to town tonight. I just, oh. Oh my word. Um, but yeah, the bottom line is I know how my body works during this time of month. I know how my mood works this time of month. And I just like the fact that this morning, let me tell you about this morning, real life. I have everything tracked for real on my tracker, but real life, my five, seven points remaining for the day. It's two o'clock. I have seven points remaining for the day. Why? Let me tell you why. I got up this morning. I had my coffee. And I'm sorry. I'm really paranoid. And then whenever I see like a truck driving by, I'm like, crap, is that the guy that I'm going to have to go downstairs and let in? <sighs> sorry, guys. Um, now that there's a crew of you here, I'll tell you again. There's a solid chance that this live ends abruptly. We're expecting a handyman type person to show up. I don't know when he's coming. I have absolutely no idea. Uh, so who knows? Um, but I got up had my coffee, had my, I actually and was very proud of myself because I got up at 5.30 this morning, which is normal, right? My husband decided that today was going to be the day he was going to be a Minnesota citizen and go get his driver's license, but the DMV did not open until 8.30. He usually leaves for work at 6.30, which means he had a little bit of time. We both got up at 5.30. I went out into the other room, got my coffee, whatever. He showered and then disappeared. He went back to bed. I, the person who doesn't have to go to work, still got up. I'm like, I could sleep in. I could. I could do it. No, I still got up. I read my book. I came upstairs and I was writing. If you guys are on my email list, you saw that email come through. And I don't even know what time this morning. I wrote that bad boy this morning. Um, so I was knee deep, deep in work. Um, and hey, let me check the comments. You drink your water before weigh in. No, but I've totally done that before. I've accidentally like downed a bottle of water and realized that I'm not that I'm supposed to weigh in. And I was like, well, crap, there goes that. But now I know if I down one of these, I weighed the liquid in this. It is a pound and it is one pound, nine ounces of water in this thing. So if I downed one of these and then got on the scale, I know exactly what to deduct from my weigh in. Um, so there's that, but I have totally done that before. Um, so I got up, I did all the things. And then my husband moseys on out like an hour later. I'm like, where have you been? He was like, I went back to bed. So I was very proud of myself for that. Then breakfast rolled around. I found a healthy eating on the go bar. I was very excited. Ate that. About half an hour later, I went downstairs. I was like, ooh, I'm still hungry. Let me behave. And I ate an apple. And I had some Avantra Slim to see if that would help kind of caffeinate me a little bit further and curb my appetite. And I was so proud of myself because I was still at my little four point thing. And then I kid you not, like an hour or so 
later. I was ravenous. Ravenous. I was like, I don't, I don't even know what to do. And but what's in what was interesting to me is I'm sitting there, I'm looking in my pantry. You ever have those times where like I'm hungry and I don't know what I want to eat? So you just like open the fridge and the freezer and you just like stare to see what like jumps out at you saying, eat me. Um so I, I was doing that in both my pantry and in my fridge. I'm like, I don't, I don't know. Which means I wasn't craving anything. It wasn't like me giving into a crave. I must have the sugar. I must. Oh, that's what else I ate. Crap. I have less than I thought I did. I knew I was missing something. And then I went and had my, my PMS food. I have to just I, hang on. I'm going to write this down. So I remember I'm going to do a quick ad. Um, I had, <laughs> I had this like either like I didn't want it. So I'm not craving things. My PMS food is toast with butter on it. That's it. And we don't even have real butter right now. We have, I can't believe it's not butter light. But like the taste of like hot bread with butter. So both last night for dinner and this morning after I ate my healthy eating bar, I had two pieces of that Trader Joe's sour bread, sour bread, sourdough sprouted bread, which each slice is seven grams of protein. So like that was 14 grams of protein in the pieces of bread and then one point of um, butter on it. So now I'm realizing I have two points left for the day, which just makes this even better. Um, so I ate that. Then about 45 minutes later, I was hungry again. And by this time I was furious, just absolutely furious because I didn't want anything. It's not like I could go, I want pizza. I want ice cream. I, there was no craving to be satisfied. I was just hungry. And so I was like, well, all right, well, what do I need? Let's get the protein. Let's get the fat. So I busted out the almond butter. I busted out a granola bar and I busted out Oikos triple zero yogurt and I ate all of them. And I finally was satisfied. <laughs> Oh my God. And then I tracked all of that except the bread. I apparently couldn't remember that I had eaten the bread until just now, but I knew like, as I'm sitting here, wander, like wandering around thinking about what I'm going to eat the rest of the day. I was like, I swear I ate something else. And I, I could not for the life of me, remember what it was until just now. Um, yeah. So that's how my day has been going. It's been awesome. And then I did not want to work out either. Oh my gosh. I'm having one of those days where like, I'm alert. I'm awake, but the body wants to do nothing, nothing, except sit on the couch in front of the fireplace under a blanket with Netflix on. That's literally all I want to do. And I mean, don't most of us always want to be doing that? But like, it's a special kind of, I want to do that. So needless to say, I didn't weigh in today. I am... Two points left for the day. Two points left for the day. Thankfully, I worked out. I did, in fact, do, because I found out I was tied to the house. I was going to go to the gym and hop on elliptical for a while. Um, but then I was like, okay, yes, I'm working out here since I can't leave, since we don't know when this guy is coming. So I did country heat, because why not? And so I did some, did some dancing to some country music, and it was actually a lot of fun. And while my body was like, it was like dragging my body through molasses, I swear. That's just how I feel today when it comes to moving, um, which is just my lot. It's fine. It's no big deal. I don't know how much of it is hormones. I don't know how much of it is CMT. I don't know how much of it is them playing off one another, but it is what it is. And it's fine. It's fine. Um, but I did it. And now I am 2,500 steps away from my step goal. And it's two o'clock. So I can't complain about that. I've got some activity points. I've got a fresh set of weeklies. Praise the good Lord for the fresh set of weeklies. And that's that's day one. That's day one. Um, so, yes. Can you use your exercise points to help with your two points? Oh, I absolutely can. Yeah. I absolutely can. I don't know. Let's see what they've given me so far. Do, 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 do. So far, I have earned three bites back bites, points, whatever. Three. I've earned three of them. So we'll see. That means I have five and then I have weeklies and then it'll be fine. And what I plan on doing, because in a perfect world, here's what happens. So my in-laws come in tonight, right? And it's going to be great. Tomorrow we have plans to go to the Mall of America. And then we have plans to go and see a show, which is very, very exciting. 
And it also probably all means we're going to be eating out for every meal for the night, Saturday. Actually, it's not going to be so bad. It's going to be on Saturday um, because they leave on Sunday. It's a super quick visit and they're not landing until 715 tonight. So it's going to be super quick visit. So it's one day. It's one day. And if you are a member of the Insiders Facebook group, you saw my plan. I literally posted a plan for the weekend because if you fail to plan, your plan will fail. So weeklies reset on weigh-in day. Yes, they do. I've got 49 weeklies just smiling at me. And I have regular old chicken breast. I need to microwave some veggies. Like I can manage a low point uh, dinner. That's not a problem. Um, but what, what's also interesting is I'm sitting there. I finished, I had a sandwich for lunch or a wrap. I had a wrap. I found those Ole wraps at the grocery store and, um, threw some Turkey on it. It's super simple. Um, and I was like, like my gut instinct was right away. Ooh, what's for dessert. And then I remembered you can't have a sweet treat in the afternoon, my friend. Um, so <laughs> I was like, well, guess that's that better go get ready for the live stream. No problem. So I haven't had a sweet treat or anything. And I don't plan on having one until maybe later. Um, update on the pumpkin muffins. They're not allowed in our house anytime again soon. Um, anytime soon again. Anytime again soon. I don't. Forget it. Just forget it. Y'all know what I mean. They're not allowed in the house anymore. At least until I can get my act together. And um, so what, what I've actually been thinking. Because my husband made a comment about it. Because last night I had a run in with the pumpkin muffins. Because I was I was real grumpy last night. Like my husband even noticed. And usually he doesn't notice when I'm in a mood. And he noticed that I was in a mood. And Northbrook, Illinois. I don't know that I have to answer that one. I hope I don't have to answer that one. I don't know, man. Um, but anyway. the So he noticed I was in a mood. I consumed the rest of the pumpkin muffins. And right before bed, he was going through the kitchen like he normally was trying to like feed himself a million things before he goes to bed. And he goes, weren't there still pumpkin muffins left when I left this morning? I'm like, yeah. He goes, are they gone now? <laughs> yeah. He's like, okay. <laughs> like, I'm like, just don't even mess with me, man. Don't mess with me. So the bottom line is those are not those are not allowed in the house anymore. However, he goes, well, did you eat all the Oreos too? And I was like, honest to God, I forgot we had Oreos. So it's it's so weird how like certain things will trigger me, but certain things won't. We've had two different flavors of Oreos sitting in the pantry thing that I look at every single day and they haven't even crossed my mind. They haven't even crossed my mind. And I was like, you know what? Apparently Oreos can hang out in this house, but pumpkin muffins cannot. I don't know. I don't understand it. But so what I'm going to do going forward, at least for a couple of weeks, is we're just we're just not going to let the um, the sweet treats in the house. We're just not. I just I have to I've managed to control myself this week with the buying of the um, the what have, what have I been calling them? Oh, my gosh, my brain. I am so sorry, you guys. I have like the worst brain fog ever. Um, the instant gratification foods. That I've been buying. I didn't. I didn't have a single one this week. So I, I was able to check that box off, which was awesome. Um, okay, that your dumb thing eating pumpkin muffins. No, my dumb thing. My my don't be dumb was I didn't weigh in today because I knew not to be dumb and step on the scale because it would ruin my entire weekend. Um, so that was the thing. Don't be dumb. And if you know, like, if you know you deserved it because you ate crumbly or whatever get on the scale and accept your fate. That's not what I'm saying. But if you know that circumstances beyond your control, like I kid you not guys, I, I literally bloat up like five pounds during my week of PMS. I'm not over exaggerating. Like it's terrible. I feel terrible. Um, and there's no, there's nothing I can do about it. I don't know how to fix it. And I wish I knew how to fix it and make it like, <laughs> Like, and then, and then of course drinking like the over, like I've been drinking over a gallon of water a day and I'm sure that doesn't help with the bloated feeling, but it helps with the bloating, but the bloating still doesn't go away. And it's just like, I knew like last night I knew I'm like, I feel so just puffy and gross that I knew getting on the scale today was going to be sabotage. 
which is why I wasn't dumb. I didn't do it. I didn't even give it a second thought. I got up this morning and I was like, oh, it's weigh-in day. I grabbed my water. I chugged that bad boy down, bad boy down and I just kept on kept keeping on. Don't be dumb. Although the pumpkin muffins was also dumb. <laughs> but, you know. I gave up candy and cookies for the first 30 days. Those are the things that the fan brings into the house. But since I gave them up, I'm all good. That's awesome. Yeah. And that's why I'm like, all right. So I did the instant gratification foods and I did great with that this week. And um, then I had to add the afternoon sweet treat and I've done that, but that didn't stop me from sabotaging things at night. Uh, so I'm just not allowed to have the freaking things in the house anymore. The only thing, the only sweet treat that regularly I can control myself around is ice cream. I can have, we, we have two pints of Ben and Jerry's in the freezer right now. I have no desire to binge eat Ben and Jerry's, which is weird. I did that once, not that long ago, but like right now I'm like, sure. I'll have half a cup. No problem. Measure it out. Eat it. It's fine. PMS pumpkin muffin sabotage. <laughs> John, John, you just won the live stream, my friend. You just won the live stream. I don't think I need to say anything anymore. Like, <laughs> pumpkin muffin sabotage. How? Welcome to fall, ladies and gentlemen. Pumpkin muffin sabotage. PMS. That's a PMS that even the men can suffer from. Mmm, what now, boys? <laughs> Oh my gosh, John. Thank you for that. Thank you for that. I appreciate you so very much. Um, yeah. And ice cream is the one thing I definitely cannot keep regular or low fat. How interesting. It's interesting because we all have different triggers. We all have different triggers. And for whatever reason, ice cream, 90% of the time, I can control myself around piece of cake. Piece of cake. Ice cream. But you know. Piece of cake, cannot control myself <laughs> around. Cannot. Nope. Nope. Um, I shouldn't, I should have known better, but it sounded really good and folly. And I'm like, oh look, it's not gonna be all that many points. Doesn't matter if you eat five of them, you still eat five of them. So yeah, I can ignore a pint of ice cream forever, but once I start eating it, it's over. Yeah, that's true too. Which is why I had like like that's my logic behind the the just eliminate the afternoon sweet treat because once I start with sugar. I'm done. Like sugar is my trigger. And once I start, I can't stop. So the later I start, the less time during the day I have to actually eat it. So there's that. Um, and interestingly, the healthy eating all the time and go bars are not a trigger for me. I can eat one and be done, which is great. So and unfortunately, that was my last one, which means I have to go get more. Um, which is fine because I actually live close to the woman who owns the company now, which is really exciting. So she and I are going to be meeting up and in theory, I won't have to pay shipping for those anymore because she and I can just meet up and I can pick up my order. Um, glad it made you laugh. Oh, it made me laugh. That's awesome. Uh, chocolate is my trigger. Yep. Yep. But you know, what's interesting. So uh, like full transparency, let's just, let's just keep on keeping on about all this craziness that I've been doing to myself the last couple of weeks because I'm finally like starting to get my act together slowly but surely and of course like at the time I'm trying to get to, like really truly like let's get rid of the afternoon treat let's get rid of this let's get rid of that like just buckling down hormones hit and make me feel like crap like doesn't that figure that it can't just be like at the the best most productive time of a woman's month no 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 it's at the worst possible time Kick her while she's down. Why don't you? Um, but one thing that I noticed is as I've been picking up those individual little sweet treats that I've been trying, I have become a chocolate snob. Like there are very few, like I, okay. So I bought a Kit Kat bar the other day. That was my thing. Like I was like, Oh, look, Kit Kat bar. Let me eat. Let me eat the Kit Kat bar. I love Kit Kat bars. I ate, was eating the Kit Kat bar on the way home. And I was like, this doesn't taste as good as I remember it. Why does my Kit Kat bar not taste good? And I thought about it for a second and I was like, it's actually good to know that my Kit Kat bar doesn't taste good anymore because I will no longer yearn for a Kit Kat bar because I don't think they taste good anymore. Why? I don't know. But that's what happened. So, hey. Hello, hello. Um, 
I've only had one dessert in the past two weeks, and I actually regret not having any sweets around because I keep scrambling to eat my points. Um, yeah, but you're on smart points, so don't you not have to worry about eating all your points anymore? Or was that only freestyle? I can't remember. Um, Yasso ice cream is a trigger. That's interesting. I forgot that I actually have Yasso ice cream bars in the freezer. I completely forgot about them, so clearly they're not a trigger for me. Um, I wish I was a chocolate snob. Dark chocolate Kit Kats are better. That's interesting because I like, I prefer milk chocolate every day. I prefer milk chocolate. And some of my favorites are, um, well, I've learned that my favorite chocolate you can get in the grocery store is lint chocolate. Like just straight up lint chocolate is apparently my taste buds preference. It's rich. It's creamy. It's exactly what I need it to be. Um, yeah. More so with freestyle. I can go three under and still get my blue dot. Okay. Mint Kit Kats are so good. Yeah. And don't get me wrong. Like, I don't know why the regular Kit Kat doesn't taste good to me anymore. And I, when we were in Japan, like I made it a mission. I tried every Kit Kat bar that I could find because Kit Kat bars are a big deal over there. And they have a crap ton of flavors that you can't get anywhere else. It was awesome. Like I've had like ube flavored ones and the matcha flavored one. Like I tried a bunch of different Kit Kats when I was there and they were all good. So it stood to reason that I still liked Kit Kats, but apparently I don't. Peanut butter M&Ms are my only cheap chocolate love. Trader Joe's dark chocolate almond butter cup. Yeah. Okay. So Trader Joe's chocolate's really good too. Um, one of my favorite treat yourself things is the campfire bark bar. Is that what it's called? It's like, it's a s'mores in a bar. That's amazing. Lint is so amazing. My favorite. Yeah. Um, it's really, it's really, really good. So how did I get on chocolate? Oh, the Kit Kat bar didn't taste good to me anymore. So my, I don't know why it knocked me off you guys. I don't know why. I don't understand. I have to pop out the chat now because it doesn't like the chat. And I need someone to tell me that you can still see me. Anybody? And I see you. Thank you. Did I buffer or did I freeze? Because I totally, I, I got the, you are offline. We are reconnecting you. I'm like, I'm sorry. What? I didn't do anything. Um, I see. It's such a creepy message. Yeah. It is a creepy message, but I need verification. Oh, that's funny. Um, okay. That's, I don't know why. I don't know why it does that. I need to look into that because without fail, it's done it the last like five times I've done a live. I don't understand. Um, and at first I thought it was like YouTube's not so subtle way of saying, Hey, you're talking for too long, but I'm only at 27 minutes. So I don't, I don't know what happened. Um, my apologies, but whatever. So anyway, that's, that's a little bit about what's going on with me. So how are you guys doing, my friends? How was your week? How was your weigh-in? How's your, do you have any struggles? Do you have any NSVs? Do you have any last 90 days celebrations you want to celebrate? I got to tell you, I was listening to the one hour and 45 minute keynote speech that Rachel Hollis sent in her first last 90 days email. And it was from Rise Minneapolis. And, um, which happened actually while my husband was here interviewing he, the, the thing was going on. So I was like, I'm jealous you're in Minneapolis and Rachel Hollis is in Minneapolis, but, um, it, it was all about the start today journal and setting goals. And I still have like a half an hour left to listen to. It was really, really long, but I ended up listening to it yesterday and I completely revamped and upped the game of all of the major life goals that I write down in my start today journal. And I got to tell you, it felt pretty cool. Like I got upstairs today, like, and I wanted to go upstairs and do my start today journal because I was so jazzed about writing these things down for the first time. It was pretty, it was pretty, pretty cool, pretty intense to like put it out there that I have these big, massive, audacious goals, you know, because it's sometimes really, it's, it's hard. like, I, I had some pretty big ones written down in there before, but I like, I just, I kicked it up a level. Bought the pumpkin cheesecake gasso bars and the pecan buy and ate one of each before I got home from the store. Been there. Been there, Roseanne. Lost 1.2. Way to go. My weigh-in is tomorrow and I feel good about going. I have over 98,000 steps on my Fitbit. Yes. Yes. I thought for sure I was going to be up two to three pounds when I weighed in today, but much to my happy surprise, I'm down a pound. Fantastic. Love it. 
NSV, I avoided putting a pint of edible cookie dough in my cart at the store. Yes. That is hard. That is very, very hard to do. And now, and now, here's your resist your temptation. Has any of you been to the, the ice cream section lately? Specifically the Ben and Jerry section. Have you noticed a new product that's in the Ben and Jerry section? Um, I've met the five to thrive each day. In fact, 13,000 steps yesterday. Excellent, Aaron. Excellent. Um, has anyone had the pumpkin built bars? I will be able to answer that question tomorrow because my mother-in-law, remember how I keep, t I keep saying, I, for whatever reason, all of my built bar PR packages are going to Florida. Never mind the fact I logged into my, the one time I sent one order in July to my in-laws house because that's where I was going to be. And I didn't want them to sit and melt while we were in Florida one time. And I never made it my default address or anything like that. And everything, dude, chill out. No, we haven't tried the pumpkin built bars. Thank you, Lissa. Good grief. Um, and, um, now I lost my train of thought. Since then, all of my PR packages have been going to Florida. The last time it happened, I logged into my account and I said, no, no, this is my default address and put the right address. The next PR package went to Florida. Fury, and that was the, the peanut butter and the pumpkin one. Furious, I went on, or, or maybe it was one before that. I went back on and I flat out deleted the address. It was no longer anywhere in my account. The only place that they had the information to send my stuff was here. That was it. Got an email yesterday saying, your order is coming, which is what we always get when we're getting a new PR package. Guess where it was going? Florida. So I'm not going to be able to get my hands on that one because that one's getting delivered today and my in-laws have already are already in transit. Um, but I told my mother-in-law, like, can you please bring my belt bars so I can actually try them? Um freaking built bar. Let me tell you what. Um, I've met the five the, downloaded the gold tracker at the beginning of September after my scale was going the wrong way for months. I've lost at least five pounds since then, even though I haven't been perfect. Perfection is not the goal. Progress is the goal. And that's what I have to keep telling myself every single day because I have not been perfect. I have been struck. Like the, like I said, the meanest week for me to try and get my act together is the week that I'm PMSing from to high heaven. But you know, so progress, every checkbox that I can check is a positive. And I've been checking a lot of checkboxes. So progress, not perfection. So happy to have a start going into October. That's awesome. Love the pumpkin pie bars cold. That's what I, I can't remember what I was told. Someone that I was watching said that the, was it the peanut butter ones taste better room temperature and the pumpkin ones taste better cold? I don't know. I'll be able to tell you my opinion soon. I almost picked up a pint of pumpkin cheesecake ice cream the other day because someone mentioned it. I had to yell at myself because I didn't even like the flavor. Well, don't don't buy something if like, I recommend it if you don't like it. Like that would be like me saying, oh, here, like the sweatshirt that I love so much. If it's not your style, don't buy it. It's fine. I'm drinking so much water. I'm starting to really like, yes, yes. And don't you feel better? Like, yeah, you have to pee 500 times a day. Yes, I get it. But you just feel better. You just feel better. I'm about here on my water bottle. Oh, man. So very, very exciting NSVs. Um, it's not that I dislike it. It's not my first choice, choice, but I'll eat it if it's there. And my skin's better, too. Yeah, it's your skin. Oh, that's a UPS man. I'm like, boy, there's like a really big truck going down our street. Way in great. 3.2. Excellent. That's fantastic, you guys. I'm so excited. Um, yeah, I did. I did hop on the scale on Wednesday and my scale was going in the right direction. I just knew that I didn't want to ruin it by hopping on here today because I feel like a balloon. So I'm sure I'm going to weigh in like a balloon. It's fine. It's fine. I'm not bitter. But yes, skin, big like it, the water is huge on the skin. And even what I've been noticing is on um, like the way my light hits my, hits my cheeks. Like I'm not wearing highlighter. This is just glow. All I have on is powder and blush. Like, so yeah, my, my skin is doing well because of the water too. 
Haven't checked the scale since Sunday. When's your weigh-in day? Sunday, right? That's all right. You only need to weigh in once a week. Um, I know some people thrive off of weighing in every day, and that's fine. You do you. But as soon as it gets to be obsessive, you got to figure out a way to do something different. Um, so I have banned the scale for a month at a time. I've done all sorts of things. So, yeah, that's all I've got. I've officially run out of things to say. So if you guys have anything you want to talk about or I thought that I was going to be close, but it was pay week on Lifetime. Uh, I'm not going to lie to you. The reason I don't go to Weight Watchers meetings anymore is because I, I don't want to pay and I know I would have to. True story, because I'm Lifetime too, so I can just pop in whenever I want. But I don't. I don't. Thanks for being a good replacement for Weight Watchers meetings. I miss the old programs. Happy to do it. Happy to do it. I have nothing exciting to share in terms of new food or anything. No, I got nothing. I got nothing. It's been business as usual. I'm going to be backing off on the sweet treats and the whatever. I finally found my pumpkin creamer, which was happy. And... Um, I think I like the pumpkin creamer. I had that this morning, but I'm just, I'm not a fan of pumpkin flavored coffee anymore. The creamer is okay, but the coffee is too artificial. So that's, that was an interesting recent discovery. Um, I don't know, friends. That's all I've got. That's all I've got. Next week is going to be a big mail week. I have a lot of products coming in that I'm supposed to, or I have one product I'm supposed to review. I have three products coming in that I'm going to review. Um, so it's going to be a heavy work week next week. Uh, actually, I had a good Weight Watchers meeting this morning. The fact that I was actually exercising was a five-minute conversation topic. That's awesome. I weigh in once a week in my class, but I gave up the scales for Lent this year, and it was amazing to do it. Didn't lose it. It was nice not worrying about the scale. Yeah, I really liked not worrying about the scale during Lent. That might be an annual thing for me because um, it was just – it, it's Lent is a good time to give up stuff like that. Give up your other idols, seriously, because you're not supposed to have any other idols. So for me, the scale was a big one. But yeah. All right, my friends. I think I'm going to sign off here and switch into housewife mode and uh, for my whole 30. And I kind of regret it. Why do you regret giving up the scale? You get to weigh in at the beginning and at the end. That's that's all you need, right? Because then you can see either a big loss or a little loss or whatever. But I'm yeah, I'm gonna go. And there's so many, so many different trucks. My street's not even that big. Goodness. And they're about to start tearing up things in my next door neighbor's driveway. So maybe it's a good idea that I, I sign off here. So thank you guys for hanging out for a little while. This was fun. Gave me a little something to do, cheered me up. Have a good weekend. I'm headed to the gym. I'm a little bit jealous. I was I was literally like getting ready to go to the gym when my husband called and said, the guy is coming and we don't know when. <laughs> Come on. But it's okay. I got to work out in anyway. So there we go. Thank you, John. You have a good day. Everyone have a good weekend. I'm vlogging a little bit today. It's not going to be anything exciting, but and it's not going to be anything that you, my, visit, my people who have um, listened to my rant won't have already heard, but there'll be a video going up tomorrow. Because I'm still like I've already considered like, do I take the weekend off of Vlogtober? But then that's just me trying to find an excuse. And if I'm not allowing excuses, I'm not allowing you guys to have excuses. I'm not allowing myself excuses for not working out and everything. I'm not allowed to have excuses for this either. So there will be videos going up all weekend long. So go ahead and look forward to those. And I will talk to you guys later. <laughs>